No audio error from the doggo. It just sounded strange. Alright, well, let's do some uh, Animal Crossing for a bit. I have plans on what to do next, so. I thought about a couple things. Okay. There's a bunch of items that'll be here. Did I just hear a shooting star? I hear shooting stars still. Alright, so... I definitely heard it. Alright, I mean... It's fine. That is some timing on my part. I think it's done. have them, it's just they're not duplicating. I guess I just gotta be patient, huh? Hey, Charles, how's it going? How's things? Okay, well, you know, I'll do that later. Fine. Maybe we should get changed first. I always should do that first before I get to doing anything. Aside from being poorly, okay? Poorly, like lack of money. Oh. Yeah, I should probably put stuff away. Sick boy. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I don't think I'm gonna use that yet. Let's just put stuff away. Am I feeling less tired today? Uh, I don't know.
I don't think so. It's been it's been a pretty busy week, so that hasn't changed today. Get rid of these. Dull cap. These are grander plans for later. Okay, I think these are the ones I actually need. I did sleep for a bit before. I think, like, my body just kind of caught up with my brain and then just... I fell asleep on the couch for a bit. Best things I've ever bought is just a couch that can fit me long ways. I guess it's like an on and off meteor shower. that mean I'm really tall? I mean, I'm not, like, you know, basketball player tall. I'm definitely, definitely at a good height. Like, what is it? Six foot slash 184 centimeters, something like that. Nah, not all couches fit. The one that I had before, this, the three-seater definitely did not fit me. Like, I kind of had to uh, bring in my legs a little. This one I can just lay perfectly across and yeah, no issues. I guess it depends how tall you are, but... Unless the couch is like a sofa bed, that's the only time it fits in. Yeah, it's like averagely tall. It's not super, super tall. But tall enough that, like, a lot of three-seaters I can't lie down across. I don't have to, like, crunch too much. But I can't lie down across it. But this couch, man, yeah. Perfect. Hey, Lolo, how's it going, man? How's things? Um, sofa beds are short. Not the one that I slept on as a teenager. And I, I'm pretty sure I was as tall as I am now, back then. Admittedly, that one did suck, though. Just a bit broken, and a bar used to dig into my back, so a lot of the time I had to sleep on the floor. Going all right? You're in pain? Oh, are you sick? So I had to get up a lot earlier today. Almost like as if I was going into the office, so... It's part responsible for, uh... Like being a bit more tired. You love sleeping on the floor, it's so comfy. Yeah. 
I think the floor can be comfortable provided you have the right uh, material on there. But hey, Mia, how's it going? I mean, it was either that or just have a bar ding into my back and it just it didn't work. But that's how I, that's how I learned about Spongebob as a show because for some reason it was on at like 2, 3 in the morning and then uh, those nights where I couldn't sleep, particularly summer because at my grandma's house I didn't have air conditioning. Oh man, that, that was brutal. But yeah. Spongebob at like 2, 3 in the morning. I should get changed. Hang on, get changed first. So then my thumbnails will be different. In abs and chest day. Oh, you are hitting the gym? It's good, man. Uh, do I buy? I'll just, you know, I'll just go for what I have today. Hey, Star SpongeBob is pretty good. Yeah, I haven't seen much of it, but I did catch a lot of the early episodes on at that time. Man, the one that killed me was uh. When Patrick goes to work at the Krusty Krab because he he wants an award. And they keep calling him up and he's like, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> and he just loses his shit. Oh, here we go. Sure, why not? So I'll probably up late today because I fell asleep <laughs> on the couch. Definitely a case of like my my brain or body catching up to my brain, one or the other. I don't have one that matches. <laughs> okay. That's not the right color. Uh I mean, I guess... I guess this could work. Or this one. Eh, yeah, that'll do. And then... I'll change into... I think I got those combat boots, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, keeping it different. Do I have the combat boots? Maybe I don't. I have these... Mage boots. Alright, just go with that. I'll go into the clothing store and see if there's anything else. Yeah, I love how they don't outright call it Tron. It's just... Extra value, uh... Sci-fi outfit. <laughs> Speaking of Spongebob. Yeah, there's nothing else that I would want to use it with, I guess. Sure. Futuristic tingle tights. <laughs> you know, every time people talk about tingle, I really want to play his game.
he had a game on the Nintendo DS, well, m several, and only, I think, one or two of them got translated over, but they're just really weird RPGs. I've been curious about them. But they've become very expensive games. How does the dude see where he's going? Um, this is the uh, orange... Uh, the Orange Sightseeing Pro. So, you know, if you've seen videos of the Orange Sightseeing Pro, where people are just walking the streets and they're perfectly fine, because it just relays a feed through feedback. Feedback? Pass through, that's the word. Dude, day one of, of honestly, day one of that device, the, the Apple Vision Pro, People were already trying to drive with it, and just... We're getting closer to what was done in Wally. -E. You know? Like, we just... All that's missing is everyone to be riding around in some vehicle, which was almost a reality. What were the name of those scooters that everyone bought, like, a long time ago? They banned them in Australia. It, it was funny. There was some police force here that purchased a large amount of them for their, their uh, like, public order division. And then they got banned the next week, so they couldn't use them and had to sell them back at a loss. Wait, I don't have that. Alright, anyway, I'm doing my daily stuff and I'm going to continue uh, my construction things. I have a few ideas. You're ready, give you your Wally chair. But you kind of become incapable of doing a bunch of things when you end up in a chair like that. Like, I know the, the sound of everything being done for you and you not having to do anything seems... Seems like it's a good idea, but I don't know. Wouldn't you get bored at a certain point? Just gonna quickly check some things. Excuse me. You take an anti boredom pill. <laughs> I I mean, I can't fault you for that, like I guess such a thing would probably exist at that point. have ideas chat. So you'll be seeing me buying a lot of these. And no, it's not to open a yoga studio. Okay, that's a good exchange rate. So, I don't know what it was, but like I had a dream last night about an idea. I was playing this, I uh, was streaming in my dream, and I had an idea for something on the island. So, 
I abruptly woke up, I think at like four in the morning, got rolled out of bed, got my switch, stress tested what I thought the idea was, and then went back to bed. So. Because <laughs> otherwise I'd forget. As, as crystal clear as like dreams are, they do fade away quickly. So I have my idea. It'll just require quite a bit of setup, so. You just write notes in a notepad and go back to sleep. See, that's a good idea. But I guess I, if I would have done that, it still would have bothered me. Because there's still the question of, is it going to even work? I'm just going to buy it. I don't think it's real. Uh, let's just say the stock refreshes tomorrow. Ow. I may as well do this as well. I haven't done this in a while. I think part of the reason as well was because I went to bed earlier, just because I had to be up earlier and it didn't really work out. Oh, no, this is not one that I want today. Because I'm going to be moving stuff. It's okay. <laughs> Pay the fee, because I do need to move stuff around today. It's okay. Hey, uh, Kelvin, how's it going? It's going alright. Just kicking back after work. Gonna do a bunch of things on my island today. Unfortunately, some of it's going to involve cleaning up, but it's fine. The game is lagging now to the point where the animation doesn't go off in certain areas when I'm, when I'm placing things. Okay. Um... The kitchen, I got that one. This is the one that I need to touch up. I suppose I should point out, just for people that might be confused, is like I have started simulcasting now, so there's like multiple streaming services where I'm streaming, but it's primarily Twitch and YouTube, though Twitch is where like most of the chat's happening. Um, I've been messing around with YouTube streaming on and off. I think it's neat, it's just there's things about it that aren't the same as Twitch. I think Twitch does a little better. But then, the video player on YouTube is just so much better. Um, so, yeah, now I'm, I'm giving it more of a go, just because now I can go live on both with minimal effort. So we'll see how it pans out. I mean, I play a bit of everything, so it's like... Generally, most of Nintendo's releases, but then, you know... Retro games, some of the stuff that comes out on PS5, PC games as well. Just 
I think the only genre I don't really play is rhythm games, unless I really want to. Or, uh, um, what do you call it? Like MOBAs and, uh, jeez, my brain today. <laughs> RTS. Sorry, it's been a bit of a week, so I'm a bit slow. <laughs> RTS is the thing that I, I suck at the most. Anytime I have to take control over more than three units, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. <laughs> if it's turn-based, I'm better at it. But the moment it's real-time, nah. Can't do it. Yeah, look at this. Look at it load in. <laughs> I'm going to clean up the flowers today because that is concerning. I'm just waiting for my switch to blow up. Alright, anyway. Well, let me go back to what I was doing now. Although I haven't done the daily island, I'll just place some things and then go do it. Alright, so this was gonna go here. I'll put a dish here. Wait, did I just get this? I think this is an item that I, I found, so... Okay. Goes there. May have to reorder them. Ow. Uh, hold on. Okay, I've done this correctly. stopped placing animations. Alright, so... This is more or less done for now. Is I gonna do anything else? Um, I've got... Okay, I have the kids' tents. So, I mean, one thing I was gonna do... gonna place this. I don't know which one's which, let's see. That one... I wish it would tell you, just in brackets, like, what's, what style it is. That one the other style. Do I have that style? Let's see. Okay, I don't. Yeah, maybe the brown one. Alright. Tree's going. I'll leave the stump though. Alright. I think I was gonna place one more somewhere, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Authentic. Mm 
Ireland first. I'm hoping the flowers at least stop it from animation lagging. I think I just have too many objects placed. I don't know, there's something it doesn't like. Sure, it'd be nice if uh, Nintendo would announce, I don't know, like a, a new console or something that lets you play uh, Switch games still. <laughs> Only they run better. I can't believe this this thing is seven years old. At what point did that happen? Where was I when seven years suddenly passed? To be fair, a lot of that is, is COVID. Just those three years kind of sucked. But still. Doesn't look like it's a special island. Alright. <laughs> the collapse. Wait, because they were out of sync? Well, they don't sound like claps. gonna get this stuff, I may as well. curious to see because uh, I think it's going to happen overnight for me but I guess today for Americans Xbox is going to talk about like the future of Xbox and there's rumblings that they're going to bring what used to be exclusives to other platforms but also like what their direction is for hardware there's, ru there's rumblings that they might get into the portable market given the Steam Deck has been doing well and it kind of makes sense but who knows that's like a rumor the one about games being released on other platforms kind of makes sense yeah I think it happens at 12pm uh, Pacific something like that if I'm not wrong. From what I've been reading, um, what were the games that they mentioned? It was oh, that rhythm one that did really well. That came out of nowhere. That was made by, that like outdid all these uh, studios. Clap, 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 clap. clap, 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 clap. Stop. Hi, Farash. Yeah, that's the game. They're talking about it coming out on Switch and PS5. I 
It's not really a big show, it's like a, a podcast, so it might just be general conversation. I don't know. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush just kind of came out of nowhere. Very little marketing and yeah, it just blew up. I haven't checked that out. It'll be interesting to see. And then Sony was saying that, like, the PS5 is in the second half of its life now. Or the later stages of its life, which, what? <laughs> that console, I feel like, hasn't gotten... I mean, look. It's a good console. As a console that plays PS4 games, it's amazing. It, it allows PS4 games to run better than they ever did. But in terms of PS5 games, there's not that many. I mean, I, I got my fair share of them done, like... I'm happy with the purchase, ultimately, right? Because the PS4 wasn't a library that I experienced, really, much of. And the PS5 games I did get were a lot of fun. But to already say that that thing is, like, in the later stages of its life... I don't know, man. So we'll see what comes of, uh... I guess later today, slash tomorrow for me. I think to me what would make sense... I mean, if I were Microsoft, given what they've been doing buying a lot of game companies... Just make the primary way of business be Game Pass. And then, don't worry about the console wars, just let the others fight it out. It's not like the new Xbox has done that well, either. I mean, it hasn't done poorly, but... It's not like, uh, you know... The must-have console this generation. look forward to no one being able to get a PS6 for a year after it drops. It's probably going to be the case, but I mean, it was also COVID, like that was part of the reason. I had no problems getting my PS5, so I don't know. Just the pre-orders went up on Amazon, I pre-ordered it, there was no problems. Just didn't have to go out of my way to like be online at a certain time of day, right? Like, I just kind of jumped on whenever and I ordered it and I had it. Find who's crafting. I've seen them cook and I've seen them craft in the same day, so maybe 
Maybe I'll get both. gonna be boring <laughs> just gonna put that out there but I have to start cleaning up these flowers as you can see the lag that it's potentially causing but it will allow me to kind of start what I what I have planned next <laughs> doing the rounds at the moment. Okay, you're not crafting. I'm probably gonna miss that. That's always on during the day. I really need to make an effort to try and play this during the day. Or maybe do what I did last time, which was just like offset my time zone by eight hours, so then when I do play at night, it's a daytime thing, but it's still the same day. All right, anyway. I'm gonna start with the beach area. I think it's just, there's a lot here. That's all it is. Oh, I just noticed the mistake. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's just, this is the wrong pattern here. Hang on. It is supposed to be this one. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of anything that isn't a hybrid, so that's the goal. At least for this initial part. Bring the flower population to something more sustainable, where it's not lagging the game, and then move on. Because I can grow the regular ones just by getting seeds, so it's I don't really need them. Or worst comes to worst, I can just grab another one from somewhere and duplicate it. I have a garden that has every flower in the game now, so... It's not a problem. Oh, crap, I've... Ooh. Sorry, I know that was kind of sudden. Um, they were supposed to show gameplay of uh, Silk Song today. I forgot to check that out. I might check that out later. Um, it was going to release on Valentine's Day, which is, you know, today for... Today for me. It means the 15th for me. But that's a game I've been waiting for. It's like uh, the sequel to Hollow Knight. Or prequel. I'm not sure when it's set. We've got... That's a game I'm definitely playing this year. They were supposed to show more about it, so we'll see. Wait. 
these are... I forget if Orange is like... I think Orange replaces them. Yeah, actual Silk Song news. Look it up. It, it should be out by now. Because they said Valentine's Day, so... Um, hang on. And Flower Animal Crossing. I'm not looking up Silk Song. I just want to see if Orange is like a basic color or not. I'm pretty sure it is. Wind flower. Basic color, yep. Okay. It is. Yeah, I was sad when they delayed it. It was supposed to come out, um, what, like in June last year? Primary's gone. I want to say it made a difference, but there's no real way to know. I can pick up a few more. Okay. Keep the hyacinth, because I think those I'm going to use to decorate around the beach, eventually. So th that's the exception. But the others I'll just get rid of stuff that's primary. Uh, I have to leave that there, because I don't have room. It's alright. It's not going anywhere. I might buy another shovel while I'm here, because I guarantee this one's going to break. I mean, if they have something like a release date in mind, that would be great. I wish in some ways that this would function just like Happy Home. 
I mean, I'll leave these, because these I, I get the feeling I'm going to use. Maybe not the red ones, the yellow ones definitely. That's related that they're gonna talk about Xbox and then Silk Song is also gonna have things mentioned. You know? I'm still not sure how I'm gonna decorate around the island. Like, I guess I'll leave this for now. Okay, get rid of all primaries. I don't think it's going to take that long. Let's say I got rid of 50 flowers, at least. That should hopefully cause it to not do weird things. Hang on, what do you want? Maybe later. I'm not feeling <laughs> creative enough to come up with uh, like a special greeting. Might, if I remember, I'll do that at the end. Just the outfit thing. Okay, now I'm curious. Hold on. While I'm in the background here. Oh, okay. So the... It's been five long years. Right, but like... I swear I saw something. Hang on. I'll look for it later, I guess. It's possible that I got jabated as well. I think if there would have actually been news, it probably would have popped up for real. Maybe it wasn't real. If a quick search doesn't bring it up, then it was probably someone being annoying on Twitter. Slash X. Should 
Gee, if only there was a way to unequivocally know if, like, a post came from an official source instead of someone that paid $5 a month. <laughs> but no, that, that would be too obvious. That would in involve sorcery. It's all right. Well, I know the Xbox thing is definitely legit, the thing that I mentioned earlier. It's definitely legit. I had multiple news outlets talking about it. I mean, aside from that, the only other thing that I've, I've seen, um, there's a game that came out yesterday that's like a, it's a spiritual... <laughs> What'd you call it? I don't know if it's a spiritual... I guess a spiritual successor would be made by the original team, so... It's a game that's heavily inspired by the, uh... The three Zelda games that Nintendo refuses to acknowledge. The ones... That became memes. So, they made a game that is based off those. With the animations and everything. It honestly kinda looks pretty neat. this time it's not trying yeah you can have it like I, I I'm not gonna use it it's just this thing again where you can't have anything in your pockets or the villagers will guilt trip you into uh, buying it they never pay what it's worth ever Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. If this is all this is gonna be for the next half hour is just me getting rid of flowers. Oh no, they never they never will pick flowers. That would be nice if they did. If you carry a flea in your pocket long enough, then one of them will want to buy it. At least it's amusing, like that. They'll be like, oh, I've been looking everywhere for that flea. Do you mind selling it to me? Gee, I really need a flea right now. If only someone had it. Wait, you have a flea? This was a long time coming, I've been putting this off.
Okay. It's my hope that I can, at the very least, push this to one corner. I don't know, I think a couple more trips should be done with cleaning up a little bit. plant these gyroids, but I don't really have a spot. Where I'm going to do things today is here, so... I mean, I guess the campgrounds... You know what? Yeah, this is fine. As long as it's somewhere that I can... Just come back to you later easily. Okay. first. <laughs> I forgot to talk about, um, just, so I got a Windows update and if you know me, or at least been around long enough that Every now and then Windows Update has an update that will just mess around with your streaming settings. It's like a rite of passage for most streamers. But it usually comes in pairs with um, just Microsoft asking you about using services and programs that you might not be using. So they added one more to the list today. <laughs> now it's like, hey, would you like to use Copilot? It's our new AI assistant. We noticed you didn't like using Cortana, so here's Copilot. It's completely different. It's powered by AI. Would you like to enable it? We already enabled it for you. Oh. Must have, like, accidentally run over these. It's okay. Just... Didn't update my computer to install, like, I don't know, a security patch or something. No, just something that I had no intention of using. And now it's gonna ask me about it every three months, on top of the other things. I mean, it's just the thing with everything these days is like, you buy you buy something, and then you're automatically like a marketing target.
I think the wildest one I've gotten was like, I took my car into service for the first time in the city. And literally the day after, it was like, Hey, you brought your car in for a servicing. Did you know that we're selling new cars? Not in those words, but it was effectively that. It's just like, come on, man. You were excited for that for a couple of seconds, what? Because I said Cortana? Didn't they ruin Cortana in the TV show? Oh, when they first announced it. Yeah, I mean... There's a reason they chose that name. There's a TV show? Yeah, apparently it's not very good. I haven't watched it myself, but the people that I know that are into Halo say it's it's not good it's one of those things I got an adaptation by people that don't really understand the source material bother watching it. Halo has been ruined enough for you without it. The only Halo I played was one, and that's just because that's what we did at university. It was just such a good time. The multiplayer in that just when multiplayer games were just games where you got together with friends and just had some random stupid fun. And there weren't battle passes, microtransactions, um, rappers, pop culture, pop stars. Like, what, what else is... I, I just... The stuff that they sell, you know? enjoyed one but two didn't do a few and didn't pick up the franchise since that's fair These days it's rare for me to pick up that genre because it's just synonymous with Battle Pass. Outside of Overwatch, I can't think of the last time I took interest in one. And Overwatch was like a long time ago. I mean, I don't count Overwatch 2 because it's the same game, let's face it. Now it's officially the same game after they canned um, the whole, the whole, uh, what was it, PvE mode that they were going to do that was supposed to be the big thing about 2. Games as a service. Yeah, I've said this before, is like, any company that talks about making a good product instead of making a good game, like they use the word product instead of game, uh, primarily their focus is going to be how to get the most money out of you. That's what I've noticed. They'll constantly talk about, oh, I think we make a good product. And they'll use phrases like, we want to bring values to the customers. Just that kind of language, yeah. 
They're gonna try and get as much money out of you as possible. It's like, if you didn't know the context, they could be talking about a fridge. That's when you know... Mm. <laughs> Raise eyebrows at the game, that's all I'm saying. They could use those exact words and be talking about a fridge. I try, I try not to be cynical about these things and give things the benefit of the doubt, but it's kind of to the point where, like, you know, mobile games originally were something that I had interested in, interest in, believe it or not, because the earliest mobile experiences weren't what they are now. They were games that were, they had passion behind them. They weren't cash grabs, it was just games that genuinely took advantage of the medium they were on. They were kind of cool. And then at a certain point, they turned into what they are today, and now I'm just... Anytime the word mobile and free-to-play is brought up, it's just, like, it's a cynical response. And it just comes from years upon years of the landscape being that. And it's the same with these, uh, like, live service games, I guess. It's just, it's the same story every time. More thought goes into making a fridge in AAA games. <laughs> I don't know. I think when it comes to AAA games, this is how I feel about them, is there are people that are genuinely passionate about making a good game that just get taken for a ride by executives that don't give a crap. And are just after infinite growth. People must be playing them, otherwise they'd stop making them, but who? I think you've got that the wrong way. I think it's people must be buying them, otherwise they'd stop making them. They don't care if people play them. The moment people stop playing them, they just make another one. The issue isn't playing, the issue is just buying them. The state of mobile games is tragic for you. Even now, there are good mobile games that you have to dig further than most people bother to find them. Yeah. But there's definitely good mobile games. I don't want to, like, lump everything together. For example, Vampire Survivors, the mobile release is excellent. It's a good mobile game. But, you know, the state, of, the state of things now is, now mobile games trick you into getting them. They put these ads up that are completely fake, that don't represent the gameplay at all. And they kind of just, their tactic is to just do the most bizarre thing they can in the trailer. To get you to install the app. Just things that aren't related to the gameplay or the just completely fake gameplay that's just unhinged. That's, that seems to be the meta at the moment, for mobile games. Yeah, I mean, I guess the whole thing isn't just- it's not just whales. Like, whales are part of the problem. Whether it's their fault or not, it's just- that's just the thing. As long as there's, there's whales, they're going to keep making these games. But it's also just... The... There's a generation of gamers now that know nothing else other than the world of, like... Well, games have microtransactions in them. A lot of games have them. And they're not... They don't know of, like, the before time where this was not the case. I accidentally picked up hybrids like an idiot. Oh, no, but I'm moving them. It's okay. Hmm. 
on the topic of like games you're not going to pay a lot for there was a video that came out um that was promoting last e epoch just some dude talking about like why diablo 4 players are going to hate it and man that <laughs> it was a good watch but parts of it hurt me i was like oh man yeah i guess i kind of fell for diablo 4 huh As someone that worked for a mobile game company for a bit, it's insane how much people spend on free-to-play mobile games. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I know, I know a bit of it because, um, you know, kids buying top-up cards, right, to go spend in these games. Particularly stuff like FIFA. The amount FIFA makes of people is ridiculous. Like those fantasy sports modes. It's, in it's insane. And there's a very famous video of, like, a StarCraft developer talking about how much man effort went into making one of the StarCraft releases and how much it cost Blizzard. And then the fact that, um, War World of Warcraft's first digital mount was made by one person only took, like, a small amount of time and just outsold it by, like, a ridiculous ratio. And it's like, that's the reason why we are at where we are today. That's- we caused this. It's like, why- why would they get an entire team of developers working on something when one developer can just, like, spit out a skin? The majority of the player base goes, ooh, sparkly, and then buys it. It's okay, like, I- I've been guilty of that stuff as well. I'm not immune to it by any means, but where possible, I do try to avoid those kind of games. Like, I think the most I spent stuff on was in TF2, because that was before all that stuff was commonplace, and I think Valve was like one of the earlier companies to kind of dip their toes into that stuff. I needed my TF2 hats. Don't mind playing free-to-play games with microtransactions, just don't feel like paywalling essential content or pay to win. Yeah, that's pretty much the reason I don't touch free-to-play. Because sometimes that isn't obvious immediately, it's kinder until you get a bit further into the game, they mask that pretty well. You know, like, I think whenever a game is going to have some form of monetization, however innocent or however egregious it is, fundamentally, at some point, the gameplay is stagnated just to entice people to make that purchase. Unless you're talking about purely just a game that only does cosmetics, right? That's... I want to say it's more acceptable, but it's still not really. At least in my eyes. Because... Alright, so League of Legends is kind of a good example, right? League of Legends and skins, you think it's innocent on the outside. But League of Legends also sells heroes. And so, I remember, and I'm not sure if this is the case anymore, but a long, long time ago when I tried that game, the way they balanced that game was that the, pl the heroes that weren't free tended to get buffs, or heroes that, like, had skins that were new would get buffs, so then people would want to play them, and then it would encourage the purchase of the skin for that hero. And it was kind of, that's kind of the way that game was balanced for a while. At least that's how it felt. So it might seem perfectly innocent on the outside, where it's... Yeah, they're just selling skins, but there's still measures like that. That's every game when they release a character. I mean, nowadays, sure. 
I remember a time when I would play TF2, they'd be like releasing updates to a class and it was just a fun little event they had and you didn't have to pay extra and there was nothing nefarious about it. Or like you would buy an expansion to a game, it would have just these new classes added and you know, they'd just be fun to play. And that was, that, that was it. Go, go have fun with your new characters. TF2 is definitely still a thing. It's still going. I mean, Valve hasn't really done anything with it, but there's still people playing it. You thought of Overwatch as a TF clone? It is to some extent. I think when everything is said and done, I like TF2 better than Overwatch. Like... I don't know. You know what you know what it is? TF2 had a competitive environment, but it never had an official competitive environment. Like I don't think Valve ever encouraged it. And I don't know, man. Overwatch is just one of those games where just a large percentage of the player base seems to be angry. That's that seems to be their default emotion. And I kind of feel the same way about like League of Legends, uh, and Dota 2. Unless, unless you're like winning, you're basically not, not happy. Which, eh, I don't know, I don't know if I could play a game for a prolonged period of time if that's the case. And I'm not talking about like you've won the match, like, you could be halfway through the match and things aren't going well and then you're upset and then even if you win overall, you still have like this just... I don't know. Pool of negativity. I only play those games if I have a group of people to play where I know, you know, they don't care and... It's that sort of thing. But I've, I've heard some stuff over, like, voice in Overwatch that's just like, man, people are just... They're way too angry. And this is in the mode that's supposed to not be competitive. People still get all sweaty about it. I forgot what streamer I was watching, but someone wanted him to play League of Legends, and his response was no. No one- no streamer who plays that game is happy. And he went- he went to the category, pulled up, I think, six different streams, and every single stream he pulled up, the person playing was upset. <laughs> just- they were in the middle of like, oh, this game's not going well, or just lamenting at their bad teammates, it's just- Yeah, I'm good. I'll stick to my fantasy games where I, like, dig up flowers for a couple of hours and just walk. That's the every time you play Overwatch, it's a love-hate relationship, although more hate, more hate since Overwatch 2 came out. Yeah, I think they dropped the ball with Overwatch 2. I'll play Overwatch 2 from time to time, but only if friends want to play. That's, I, I don't dare play that game and go into solo queue, that's just... That's where those feelings emerge. Look at how much nicer this looks now. <laughs> If you enjoy that game and don't get salty at it, then more power to you, but... After a certain point... I was like, nah, I'm good. may have missed out what was the dream. Oh, the dream I had? I haven't talked about it. I'll talk about it when I actually start working on the idea. The idea's gonna take a while to get items for it. Can 
confirm solo queue overwatch is a miserable experience. Yeah. I mean, the times we've played Lelo, it was, like, fun. Last time we played, those, what, those matches where I got accused of hacking. <laughs> that was fun. Am I going to do it tonight? Nah, I don't have the items for it. This is going to be, like, maybe... I want to say, like, a week from now. I, I got some other stuff I want to do, so... Right now, I'm just addressing this because I need to address this. Hopefully it'll stop this area from lagging a bit. Because, okay, so here's the thing. It's it's not that it's like... May, maybe I'm thinking too little of it. I don't think it's a massive game changer. I think it's a cool idea what I have. It's just, if I start it right, I'll place down a few pieces and then I'll be like, okay, well now I have to place four pieces every day until it's done. Versus me getting all the stuff in advance and just doing it all at once, you know? I would hate for it to be something that drags out, because then it, it, I feel like it's less impressive. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Nick, though. Yeah, it was on sale in the shop. I got the pineapple head to go with the Tron outfit. Yeah, dude, that was funny the last time I played Overwatch. I was, I was playing Ana, and there was a Farah in the game that, um... I don't know. So, for some context, back in the day I used to play competitive Team Fortress. Like, just randomly messing it around. Never got to anything, like, high, right? It was did okay not amazingly well but i used to play healer so that was like my role so one of the things that i got used to was like um you know you have your pocket which is the player that's with you so i had that mentality with when i'm playing overwatch and so when it came to farah i kind of learned the timing, it's like, okay, I haven't seen her for a while. She's probably going to try and do her thing and get us from surprise. So for those that don't know, this character has a sleep dart that uh, puts enemies to sleep. So for every time that Pharaoh went for the ult, like, I would, I don't know how I did it. Like, it was just some sixth sense shit. But like, I turned around, shut the, shut the sleep dart and just prevented her from doing the ult, like, every time in the match and by the end of the match it was just like stop stop with the aim bot like it was funny because I was I was telling Lelo it over voice I was like oh Farah's gone she's probably gonna ult and then like a second later the ult came and I would prevent it from happening Yeah, that's when uh, that's when Overwatch is at its best. It's just when you're with a group of friends and you're just laughing at stuff. Yeah, it's just game sense. It's just can't shake that time. But I bet the person on the other end was not having a good time. Well, I'm gonna be up late today. I had to be up just early this morning and then just I fell asleep on the couch so I 
I don't know, it was definitely a case of, like, something catching up. I don't know if it was my brain or my body, just... Something caught up. Alright. How long did this take? What, like half an hour? I'm hoping just half an hour is probably closer to 40 minutes. Okay, now I'll, I'll get to actually doing something. So, I have a few ideas floating about. So one of them has been a constant question of what to do along the back. Just this... I think they call it the secret beach here. What to do here, s specifically. And... I've been back and forth a bit, but I think I, I finally know what I'm going to do. So, this is all going. This idea will be moved elsewhere. I think I'm going to put this where Alice's area is. How do I feel about wet burritos? Wet burritos? What constitutes a wet burrito? Just so I have the correct definition here. I'll place these here very temporarily so. Just so I know I'm going to do something with them. When you have burrito and smother it in a sauce. Oh, it's like... No, no, no. It's not an American thing. It's more just, I guess, terminology difference. I mean, I've seen that. It's, it's no different than, like, dipping a grilled cheese in a soup. Right? Okay, that's what you mean. It's, it's just because, um... In Central America, there's, like, a concept called a drowned sandwich. Which is... There's a, it's a sandwich, and then they kind of pour, like... I don't know, like a gravy or a juice. I don't know what you would call it, what it's classified as over the sandwich, and then you just eat it quickly. So that's what I, I was... I, I don't know. I thought maybe you were talking about that, like something conceptually similar. I can't say I've tried one. I don't know. I don't think I'd be opposed to it. Because, you know, drowned sandwich. That kind of normalizes it a little bit for me. I mean, what sauce do you smother it in? If you say ranch, then no, I'm out. That's definitely... That's definitely purely American at that point. Oh, well, you take whatever food item, you fry it, and then you dip it in ranch. Again, I'm moving more. I forgot about this pile here. Sorry. So I want to keep those roses because those roses produce blue roses. And if I'm having that many problems with uh, duplicating my blue roses, I might have to resort to watering the red roses a bit.
It's usually green or red enchilada sauce. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd go for that. Don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, if you have a chimichanga, like, it, that's usually slather, slathered in sauce, right? So it's like... It would be a non-fried chimichanga with sauce. It's fine. I mean, I don't know if you could find it, but like, you know, the ground sandwich is quite good. Definitely worth the go. So this is another little spot that I'm not sure what to do with. I think I'm probably going to patch up the pond here because this is here purely because I didn't have one but now that's kind of changed because of what I did with one of the houses that now has like a little pond area I'm pretty sure you can go fishing there let me have a look double check Yeah, here, I think it's big enough to go fishing. I just need to throw a bait in. At least, I hope so. I may have to stress test this. Literally a torta covered in sauce. Yeah, pretty much. But the one that I have is like typically for Christmas. It's, they take the leftover turkey and then they put it in like a crusty bread roll, whatever fixings you want, and then they just put like I don't know. It's the the turkey juices. I don't know how else to describe it. I guess it's a gravy, but it's not. See, this is the thing. Okay, I think the technical term, technically it's a gravy, but I'd call it a sauce or a juice. Because gravy to me is like, it's more thicker in consistency or color. That's one of those things where I'd rather use the layman's like understanding than be correct, you know? It's like, Tomato technically being a fruit, but I would never call it a fruit. Or like, if someone were to say, hey, throw me a vegetable to put in the salad, I would throw a tomato. Well, no, gravy, I meant it's either thick in, it's either thick in texture or it's like in color, like it's pretty dense. It doesn't have to be thick necessarily. It could be non, could be pretty runny, but then the color is like more of a brown. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess, would you associate the color red with gravy? I wouldn't. Even though you can technically get a gravy that's red. Or at least tinted towards that, you know? What's the word I'm after? It's like viscosity. A lot of the box gravy tends to be very viscous.
<laughs> I love how I said I was done. I'm so, I'm so sorry. This might be all I do. But this was a long time coming. Uh, at a certain point, I was going to have to do this. That reminds me. Is is this part... Hang on, I need to... I need to go from right to left. Because that's where it usually happens. Is this behaving a bit more now? like an argument could be made that Mexicans do the best sandwiches. Maybe you're biased because you're simping on this tour to place next to you really hard. <laughs> I mean, Japanese sandwiches are pretty good, though. Have you have, ever had, like, a katsu sandwich with the thick bread? I mean, banh mi? Vietnamese with their French bread making techniques, come on. But this might be coming from like, you know, someone who grew up with Mexican adjacent food, so. I think there's a little bit of bias on my part. I'll give you, yeah, top 10, I'll, I'll give you that. Dude, Italian sandwiches? Man. Like the paninos. Like good shit. Now that I said it, Ban Mi may have an edge on the daughter. A slight edge, but still. Yeah. I mean, it's just when you get one that has really well cooked meat and then just the bread that they've made in house right there, you can't go wrong, man. And it's just so cheap as well. That's the other thing. It's always well priced. Can't go wrong. Fun that call it torta, that means cake in Swedish. Okay, well, here's the thing. Torta has various meanings. It can mean cake as well. Because I don't, like... I've definitely heard my parents use it in the context of cake. It's just one of those things where words vary in Spanish, depending on where you're from. It's like, for example, in European Spanish, coche means car. But if you look at any Central or South American Spanish, it, it doesn't mean that at all. And then every country has its own version of slang, so there's that as well. So I know torta is definitely one of those words. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I should brush up on my Spanish. I could do it. Just, I don't speak it unless I'm... 
at home with my parents or at a gathering where, like, there's more older family members there. Wait, this is going. Maybe the Swedes got it from there. Uh, I don't know. It all comes down to root languages and just who visited whom. I know the funny thing I, I like seeing is just the outliers in Europe. It's a lot of European languages share similarities, but then German and German, Dutch, and Finnish just kind of go off the rails. <laughs> it's funny. Just to see every language say a particular word and then just those languages just they go off the rails. Completely different, unrelated, like not even close. From all you know, torta, when referring to a sandwich, is very specific. Like, it's not just any sandwich, it's a torta. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is, it's like, that's a Mexican thing, and... There's definitely overlap, but sometimes the terminology isn't completely identical. Everyone has that weird cousin, and if you don't know who it is, it's probably you. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not... I'm definitely not the weird one, or at least the character, let's put it that way. The ones that fulfill that role in my family are, there's a particular uncle whom I've talked about a few times. And then my cousin who basically reminds me of um, Pascal in this game. Those are the characters. Oh, perfectly in the middle. Okay, higher or lower, but this is a coin toss, so. Higher or lower. the max, uh, it's nine. So, th this is perfectly in the middle. One, two, th it could be one, two, three, four, or six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 50-50 chance. Lower? Alright. Good job. Yeah, I like what I did here. <laughs> I have to do something today. I can't just let this be me moving, moving flowers. You might be omnis omnipotent, omnipotent, it's, there's a word I can't pronounce, hello. Okay. I'm gonna fill this in. Oops. 
I'm going to move the roses over here. And I, I swear that's the last of the moving. Oh, there's still these. That's okay. I mean, this should all fit. It's just these roses are special roses. They make blue roses. Not easily, but they make blue roses. It's a 2% chance. Oh man, I can't believe I got it, finally. Throwing out lottery numbers now. Okay, clean. Just, I guess if I get desperate. I should be watering these. plant these on the other beach and then we're good. How is it already 10 o'clock at night? Okay, the thing that I wanted to see is, is the situation any better, let's see. I mean, it's still not liking... I think I just got too much stuff here. I don't think I can really help that. At least the farm area is looking nice. Like, it's approaching the end. I like what I did here. Yeah, the market thing I'm pretty happy with. Just what I had before was a little bit messy by comparison, but this, this is good. Complete with Peruvian flute band music playing everywhere. Alright, 
I mean, I think it's improved a bit. It still loads in. You can see it. It's struggling. But I mean, the last time I did something to this level in terms of just decorating and building would have been 2000 and... When was it? It's been a few years. I mean, what I did in Stardew was detailed, but not to this extent. Okay. Now. work on the idea. First, I need some sustenance. Eat skin on the coconut. Damn it, why is the first option drop? Okay, let's lift this. So I'll talk about the idea I have. At least one of them. So I mean I want to put more general beach stuff here, but. Just to replace. Alright, now. That secret beach I was thinking about what to do. Originally, I was gonna put like a place where someone sits down and um, makes art. You know, just paints, but it didn't, didn't really play out well when the boat's there. So I thought of something better. So what I'm going to do with that back beach... So this that's where red turns up. I'm going to do a casino there. Or at least a place where people go to gamble. I'm going to completely seal it off, and the only way to get there will be through a pipe that's in the bathroom in my venue house. That'll be guarded by a gnome. So, you know, when red's there, it'll be his uh, casino beach. That's the idea. And I think it's pretty original. Hey, Colin, how's it going? I think this is original. Sorry. Alright. There. And it'll also marry up to, like, the other thing that is going to be a more long-term idea. But more on that later. Okay, so what I need to do... Hold on. I'm gonna lay this out. might take me a little while. That was Valentine's Day. Well, you know, I forgot about it. Animal Crossing reminded me, and yeah, I didn't do anything. So that's the extent of my romantic life on Valentine's Day. Ugh. I was kind of wrecked anyway. I don't think I was going to do anything, even if I did remember. It's been kind of a week. You 
use single power to crank metal at the gym. Oh, something. works out the way I want it to. Ooh. Yeah, it's not allowed. I don't think I can plant a tree here. Maybe here? Okay, it's allowed here. That's fine. I just want to see if there's enough room for what I'm trying to do. Let me get out some of the items for this. I think these will be important. Um, as far as tables go... I mean, I think I'm only going to be able to get away with one. Maybe. We'll see. Let me see how this looks. I don't think I have curtains. I need to buy curtains, okay. This should cover what I'm trying to do. I need more of these, okay. what I have. I've got a few of these out. Okay, so... Oh, I mean, I don't need that. Put that already? Alright. Thank you. 
Wait, what was it called? Hold on, what was it called? The Mahjong game. It's something Mahjong game. Arcade. Okay. My bad. the one. Oh, that is expensive. Okay, I need a few of them. Maybe two more. And then, I guess, using Happy Home, I need to order curtains. There's a reason I'm gonna order curtains. I went past it again. Arcade. That one. One. Two. Okay. So this is the idea. So, the curtain that I'm gonna place will be like the hospital curtain. Oh crap, I need to customize that. But the idea is two gnomes will be placed as guards here, and then the curtain will cover it. And then this area here is, I guess, the casino area. Now let me lay this out. Okay, so let me let me think about the full floor plan here. One, two. I think I need another mahjong game, so it'll be mahjong, mahjong, and then here will be like the tables. I think this'll work. Okay, so place. Counter chair here. Place cards here. Does work. <laughs> okay. And then... Okay, repeat it again. Something that I'll, I'll get to finish, not today, but we got the idea. Push it out one more. There we go. Cards. And grab a hundred bells again. 
There we go. Yeah? Then when Red's here, it's like, hey, this is Red's casino. It needs more, but you'll see. Flower arrangement here and there. Uh, okay, now that I see that, uh, maybe it's fine. But yeah, curtains will, will cover this, so then you can't actually get in. I'll put guards in the way. And then the only way in is through a warp pipe that I'm gonna hide in the bathroom inside the venue. Let me go get the warp pipe. So, what's gonna happen is... This is gonna go. This is here. And then this kind of makes sense now. Gnome is guarding this. Can I can I use it? Is it functional? It is. Well, it's not the P there. It's just how you access the secret casino. And then this is closed off. It's like there's no way in here. That's why the gnome is there, it's to prevent people peeing. It'll look good once the curtain's up, so then there'll be two gnomes guarding here and there's no... There's no way... ...to actually get into the casino. It's like, wait, how do I get in there? Conspicuous place of business. Just to give you a good idea, I can use this as the blocker for now.
could have sworn I had a curtain, but maybe I don't. Unless it's in a completely different category. Alright, doesn't doesn't matter too much. Did I miss the statues? Yeah, here they are. Don't I have more? Sculptures? I, I've bought sculptures. I thought I had more sculptures in this, or are they in a different category? I guess I may have used them all. I was gonna put two sculptures up the front. Let me see if I missed them. So I mean, there's that, but eh. Oh yeah, here they are. Okay, cool. This is what I was after. I mean, that one... I think these two are probably the ones to go. This one, if I had a second one, I would use it. Okay. I thought so. Customize, not craft. like the legal casino and the legal art dealing it's just it works well, okay maybe not illegal but definitely stretching the law <laughs> flowers here. But this is the idea, so... I'll use the kimono stand for now, but... The idea is to completely use a, uh... The curtain. Because the curtain, I think, should completely block vision. Yeah, there we go. So then... This is the idea, is like a curtain's gonna cover it. That doesn't look bad already, but we can do better. Yeah. And place. Garden in here. There we go. <laughs> Inconspicuous place of business. Yeah. 
I forgot what they called it on The Simpsons. It was like the Legitimate Gentleman's Club or something like that. Or the Gentleman's Club of Legitimate Businesses. Or something along those lines. I was going to put flower arrangements, but I think... I mean, I mean, I guess the thing is I wouldn't encourage walking this way anymore. I think this is fine. Looks good. <laughs> Damn it, I kinda wish I didn't order the yoga mats. It does make it annoying if I want to get to the beach now to buy art, but eh, I think it's worth it. I'm pretty sure I don't have the curtain, otherwise I would have seen it. It's okay, I'll buy it when I can. I guess I'll spend the last ones on the yoga mats. Because I have another idea involving yoga mats, but that's later. I'm just thinking which looks better. Alright, anyway. It is a little awkward to use it, but it's fine. Plus it's nice, it's when it becomes a dream island. People are gonna try and figure out how to get here. It's like, how do you get to that area up the back? It looks like a casino, but there's no way in there. Um, I think what- oh crap, no. Stop. Oh. That's actually a good thing. It should be that way up, huh? Okay, I need to put it this way up. Yeah, there we go. That's more correct. Um, but that's not what I was trying to do. Oh, see, this this might be tough because I mean, let's see how it looks, but I don't think I can do it. Okay, actually, that doesn't look bad. I thought it might do the weird thing. No, that's fine. That works. Okay, I thought it'd do the weird thing. It usually does. I 
can't be bothered going back into construction mode. And then, yeah, when I get the machines tomorrow, it'll, it'll look good. I don't know what else to put here. I don't think I can put really anything else. It's a shame I can't order the curtain. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know I could step back here. Oh. I mean, I guess it doesn't go all the way through the property line. That's ah, fine. Okay, well. Let me put these back. I guess I should get more gnomes as well. I should have gotten gnomes. Do I have any others? I think I'm out of them. There's no way for me to get back. Unless I I could swim around, but I feel like this is easier. See, if I had, if I had a, uh, a spare pattern, I would get just something for red. Just a, a photo of him and just, you know, place it as artwork for the fencing. But I don't really have anything that I can delete that I'd be happy deleting. I think, like, I'm stretching it. Everything here is, is pretty well used. It's a nice to have, but it's not essential. You get the idea. Alright, I mean... Yeah, maybe I need to rethink this. if I just do that? So then it at least still allow. I think I might do this. Then it at least still allows foot traffic. Because that's going to bother me otherwise. Yeah, okay. I'll do this. It allows foot traffic through this area still. Um. <laughs> what I'm going to do instead. Ah, go back. Sorry, it's a lot of back and forth. But I never use that beach anyway, so it's just only when red's there. And then at least thematically it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that'll do. Then that's kind of oriented. I'm pretty sure this is the line that you walk up. Just the straight line. It'll work out. Alright, cool.
I don't know. Oh, you know what? An ATM. An ATM would work. In that single spot. It would make sense as well. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I have a spare one in storage. I think I need to grind Nook Miles if I want it, though. Let me have a look. Probably something I want. We'll see what room I have at the end. Um, it doesn't look like I have one. How much are they? I don't think this is something I'm going to get today. But I get the feeling they're expensive. That's definitely not happening today. I'm gonna have to grind that off stream, I think. Alright, well, yeah, I, I hope waiting around for me to move all those flowers was worth it. It's the beginning of the idea. It should be more solid uh, next time. I suppose I could afford to wait like an extra day as well, just so then I have the other items required for it. See, if I would have known I was starting this, I wouldn't have used the happy home spending on um, the yoga mats, but the yoga mats is like a separate idea. Okay. Cool. I haven't made a thumbnail for this, so... Let's do like a, a kind of bait thumbnail. I think this should be enough, and then... What? Do... Move it that way... Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'll do this a few times so then I have options. Okay. Click baby enough. Yeah, I was struggling as to what to do with this area, because nothing really felt right. Some of the ideas I was tossing up was like just very simple pathway to the beach with just a flower arrangement. Um I was thinking of basketball court at one point as well, but even that I was like, hmm, doesn't really fit that it suddenly goes to a beach behind, so. This idea came to me last night, where I was like, okay, casino, and then just block it off with security, and it'll work nicely. 
and yeah, it gives uh, whoever visits this island something to do. It's like, well, there's a warp pipe over there. They can't remove furniture, so it's like, well, how do you get there? You look for the pipe. And the pipe is inside the, the bathroom. Yeah, I think it's nice. And it suits it. It's like, this quadrant is all, I guess, about activities and nightlife, so... A theatre, a bar, a tea house, an arcade, and, um... Casino slash art dealership. <laughs> Albeit black market. I just wish I had more patterns to be able to do the, uh... I'm almost tempted to move- I'm almost tempted to move this as well. As weird as it might sound to hear. Because I was thinking of doing that and then making this like the basketball court, but... This isn't that hard to move across, it's not that much of a pain. It's a pretty simple design. So I don't know, I'll think on that more. There's more ideas that I kind of am dwelling on. Alright. That'll do. This one was a bit of a mixed one. I don't know how I split the time, but I know... A lot of that was just moving flowers, but... <laughs> it's... It's done-ish for the most part. I think. I don't know. I, it's just hybrid flowers everywhere, and those I'm just going to use to decorate whatever's remaining, so. I think I did the right thing. It looks good, thanks. Oh, hey, Vana. 6 a.m.? What are you doing up so early? I'm actually just wrapping up now. I was uh, just building out some idea. I'm still ordering furniture for it. The start of it's there. So, I'm looking forward to making the rest of it. Alright, well that does it for today. Um, I'm done with Animal Crossing. I have to purchase more things for the next idea to go forward. So, I might not play this tomorrow just in the interest of uh, making sure I have the items. But there's, there's a few ideas that I want to try out, so I just want to make sure I have all the items first. So I might do that and dedicate more time to the games that have been neglected this week just because of how busy I've been. Anyway, uh, if you are watching this as a replay later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoyed. If you do want to support any of the content or channels over there, easiest way to do so is just click buttons like like, subscribe, whatever. YouTubers usually say. It does help out a lot, so appreciate those that do do that, but we'll do more of this soon.